morning, one and all. <laughs> That's how we're gonna say hello now, Pearl. It's a little bit like in Lion King where they're like, ah, Savenya, but I said I'm sure those aren't the words. I'm very sorry for butchering a beautiful language. It's Monday. Um, I am aware that I've gone a bit overboard on the old eye makeup today. I was on the phone to Esther whilst I was doing it, as in like on speakerphone, not holding my phone and doing makeup. That'd be a skill. Um, and the longer she talked, the more I put stuff on my face. And that's what happened. And then I thought, I'll go for these earrings today. I'm feeling a bit frivolous. Mummy's feeling frivolous. And I used to express my frivolity in many more creative ways than just a pair of pom-pom earrings. But this is what I've come to. Yes, I've potentially peaked already. What about you? Have you peaked? She's like, I've peaked. I'm nine weeks old. I'm only just getting started. Yeah. This week's very busy. I've got an awful lot to get through in terms of the book and video editing um, and general work life. So I'm going to try and be a little bit more um, considered in how I use the internet. I'm actually gonna try and use it a bit less because I spend an awful lot of time scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling. I was go I'm gonna talk about this at a later date because I had a bit of an epiphany last week when I was in Byron. Remember when I was sat there and I was like, I don't have my phone, I don't know what to do. And I thought about how much I rely on my phone. And then I watched the Mitchellax video and they talked about how much they rely on social media. And I thought, yeah, I'm wasting hours of my life scrolling. So, so far this morning, and now it's 20 past 12, um, and I've had my auntie up earlier and done some work, done some writing and stuff. I've really limited my scrolling, so we'll talk about this more, but the theme of this week is less scrolling. What about you? She was like, Mummy, I haven't even developed the understanding of how to use my own hands yet, let alone scrolling. Time for some lunch. I realise I look very decadent right now with my puffed up collar um, of my waffle dressing gown and my pom-pom earrings. I look like that woman from Little Britain that's narrating the book, what she called, call me bubbles, everybody does. Um, so here I am, this is what life looks like for me right now, two cats, packet of nappies and my book. I don't work with it like that but I just condensed it down because I didn't want you to get any spoilers. Um, but I've got one hour and a whole chapter to do the line edits for and normally I would spend a third of that hour actually doing the edits and then two thirds of it checking things on Facebook and Twitter and like refreshing it like oh I wonder if someone's updated me like don't there's no one on Facebook that I need desperately to know about their life today or ever really but more so today so I'm gonna come back to you in one hour and let you know how I got on it's going to be hard because it's an addiction, but we'll see how we do. I'm going to be honest and I'm going to count how many times I flick off of the document and click onto social media. So here we go. It's slightly amazing how much you can get do it, get done if you are not just wasting your life on stuff that you probably shouldn't be on, like Facebook and Twitter, etc. Oh, I've had a message. Liam, you're getting back to the person you want to be. Thanks for the message, you gorgeous thing. Oh my god, I sent him a really happy message being like, I've done so much today, I feel great. Right, it's 10, oh god, it's five to three. Um, oh, look at these boys. Look at these boys. I have got to get the change bag packed and pick up Darcy and I'm going to one of my um, school mum's friend's house tonight with Darcy, obviously she's gonna play with her little girl. Um, I don't think I'll film that too much because I don't really like, hey Francis, let me just whip my vlog cam out and just vlog my life. <laughs> Play date done and dusted and we are in Waitrose. I'm seriously tempted. Oh, it's blurry. Well, enjoy this blurry goodness. I'm so tempted by these. Oh God, I love chocolate so much. What is this? A limited selection stone fruit. I don't understand. What's a stone fruit? They look like plums. Am I just being really dim? Oh, they are plums. Okay. Why are they called limited selection stone fruit then? <sighs> Shopping with two children is hard. God bless waitress and their super easy ready-made food. Yeah. Look who it is. Wow, that is nice. <laughs> I just said, get yourself to a point where you're comfortable thinking you'd like sit up and shush your hair. Oh, look, that's... <laughs> Well, that's how I like you. That's how I like you. Oh, enjoy that, ladies and gents. 
<laughs> I don't want anybody to feel um, frightened or nervous or unsettled, but I'm going to go downstairs now and spend some time with my boyfriend and my children without my mobile. I'm just going to leave my mobile here. Oh, Carrie Hope Fletcher just messaged me. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this here. I'm just going to put it down. I'm not even going to open those messages. Carrie, I'm sorry. I'm just getting out of my soft office where I've been working and I'm taking myself downstairs without technology, with my camera, but no laptop. That's on the bed as well. And no phone. I'm doing it. Slow and steady steps, but I'm doing it and I'm just going to be technology free. <gasps> I'm going to have a conversation. <laughs> I feel so liberated. Thoughts on these earrings, please. I'm thinking maybe I've graduated from trendy person, dangly earrings, to Pat Butcher. A lot of you won't know who Pat Butcher is. It's a bit alarming, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm going to try them for the next half an hour. See how I feel about them. Good morning, by the way. Got my shoes to put on. Got my work bag. Got my baby bag. I am bossing it as a working mum today to take Pearl to a meeting with me. And I'm literally changing her nappy on the boardroom table before I start. Let's do it quickly before everyone comes in. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? This is working life for you. I am home and I've gone from one office, the accounts office, to my lovely little office here. Um, I'm going to give you a little tour of that wall later on at some point. Um, is there anything in the background? No. Oh, that camera, by the way, that is my first ever camera. I'm going to show you it that I bought. Um, and these are what I started my blog with. So I started Sprinkler Glitter with this little old Kodak camera here with its 10.2 megapixels and this little tripod. And this was my phone that did all my social media on this like Sony Ericsson. Uh, with 8.1 megapixels, woo! <laughs> um, I found those and thought they'd be fun to display. Pop those back in a minute. Um, yeah, lots of things made me really happy since getting back. One, the baby slept through the transition from the car to the house, which doesn't normally, so I was like, yes, carry on with your nap. Two, my bedroom has been painted. I left Steve the Extraordinaire painter there this morning and I love the colour. Um, before I had it in the colour called Juicy Ruby from Vaspa and I did not like it. That's not to say it's not a nice colour, but it didn't suit the room. Um, and I tried to live with it and think, oh, it will grow on me. It did not. Um, I know this will divide opinion because last week some people were like, I love it. Some people were like, it's rank. Um, but now I've got a new one, so I'll show you that later on. Um, I had a good meeting with my accountant. I know where I am with everything now. Every six months I go in and sit down with him and he just runs through all the figures for everything because in case you didn't know, this is a business. <laughs> Sprinkle of Glitter Limited is my business and I manage that and you know, got to make sure that it sustains itself and while everything is like pretty good now, I want to make sure that everything's good next year and the year after and the year after um, because if I'm honest, <laughs> one of my like biggest fears and I don't think it's an unreasonable fear is that this could end any time. This is not a stable career. When I hear young people say, when I leave school, I'm gonna be a vlogger, I always say, make sure you have a backup plan as well. By all means, like, follow your dreams and enjoy vlogging, because I love it. But make sure that you have a plan B, just in case. Um, I have plan B and C and D, because I'm, like, a worrier. Um, but it was good to know where everything is, good to know what I need to put by for tax, good to know all those sorts of things and my advice to you anyone watching that starts a business or um, is self-employed or does their own accounts is to hire an accountant yes it costs a little bit more money to hire an accountant than it would to do it yourself but strongly advise it because they will make sure that you are keeping everything as it should be and you are like being careful of things so yeah that's just a bit of like boring boring parental advice for you there is to be careful with things like that and make sure you have an accountant, a good one. Mine is amazing. Steve, if you're watching, I think you're the best. Um, how funny, two Steves have made me happy today. Steve the accountant and Steve the painter. Will there be a third Steve in the day? Because they say it comes in threes, don't they? Mmm. Right, um, it's only about one o'clock, so I'm going to have some lunch and I'm really fancying a fried egg. Specifically a fried egg in a roll. What do you call a roll, please? Where you're from? Do you call it a bap? Do you call it a cob? Do you call it a roll? When a bun? When I went to Liverpool to live there, and they were like, what did they call it? A cob? And I was like, a what? I don't know what a cob is. No, not a cob. A balm cake. And I was like, 
this is madness, you crazy scousers. Bloody love you. Right, um, let's get down to business and make an egg. Name that film. Just in case any of you were thinking, oh Louise, you're not wearing that lovely green smock top dress thing that you had on earlier. Well, that's because during my accountancy meeting, um, I took Pearl and I was feeding her, then I put her up to wind her, and she just did a little sick on my shoulder, and then I totally saw Steve, the accountant, look at it when I put her down on my knee again, and he looked at it, and I looked in his eyes, and he looked in my eyes, and I thought, we both know what's just happened, but let me, let me live under the illusion that it's not happened, and I'm still a professional at this meeting, and we're still entirely focused on the figures, and I'm not that woman that brought my baby to an accountancy meeting and got sick on her shoulder and then changed a dirty nappy on the boardroom table. <sighs> what a morning it's been. I'm glad to be back in comfies making some egg rolls. Can I just ask, and I realise I'm going to sound slightly unhinged now. Let's see, yes, these are fresh. Does anyone else feel a little bit of panic when they've got to crack an egg? Because I do. There's a lot of pressure with cracking an egg, isn't there? You've got to get it, you've got to get it right and you don't want to get shell in it and too much for me I think I might crack it into a bowl and then pour it in because I can't deal with this kind of it's too much I don't have to live this life I don't have to live a life of of tension and pressures it's not how I roll no let's crack it into a bowl you can watch that'll be exciting for you won't it okay here we go because that oil is getting hot and the oil is burning yes it is Darcy sang me a song the other day that was like my dog is Oh God, oh no, uh, this is what I mean, can't live this life. Get out, oh, How do you like your eggs in the afternoon? I like mine completely crap. Boiled or fried, I'm satisfied, as long as my eggs are crap. How do you like your buns in the afternoon? I like mine with crap eggs. I over fried. I've lost my spatula. Why is this so goddamn hard? Darcy and Pearl, if you're watching this when you're older, I want you to appreciate all the hot meals I made for you. Now you can see just how challenging it is for me. So all those fish fingers that mummy cooked for you. You might think, oh, mum just did an easy dinner, fish fingers and veg, oh yeah, she didn't try at all. Well, I've seen how hard it is for me to make a fried egg. Oh no, oh that's a really hot pan, I'll just put that near plastic. Good, going to have a sumptuous lunch now. Oh, what do you think the bunny? <laughs> yes. A parcel has been delivered and I don't remember ordering anything. What are you? Do Pearl and Darcy have an excellent Easter? Who? Ooh, from the Peter Rabbit people? <laughs> from the bunnies? Okay, lovely, lovely. I would imagine that they're both the same thing. Should we have a look? The other box was not the same. Um, it's to Darcy and Pearl again. I'm so excited to see Peter Rabbit. I freaking loved that film when I was little. Not film, the books. I bought all the books for the girls as well. Um, normally, I'm not very excited about kids' films, but this one. This one and Paddington Bear are my cup of tea. Um, what have we got then? We've got Easter doodars. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, oh my God, a whole one of these. Five phrases. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, Peter Rabbit. Maybe I'll take some of this. Is we're going, oh, there's a sticker book. Yes, we're going to the salon after school. Okay, so we've got a little Jules Easter top. Denim jacket, that's perfect, because I just bought per little denim. Was it a skirt or a dress or something? Um, chocolate, maybe, maybe I'll save some of that for me. What is this? A little puzzle set. That'd be good, Darcy loves those. Um, I'll take the ears with us. That. I'll take that with us to the salon. This is perfect. It's come at just the right time. I'll take her all these goodies and then that will occupy her while I'm having my hair done. So I was going to just take my notepad and let her do drawings. And I really like this basket. Does it have a handle? 
It does not have a handle, but I still like it. That would be lovely storage to go maybe up there. I'm going to fold this down and put it on there. So, yeah, that's lovely. Thank you very much to... Well, I don't really quite know who this is. To Peter Rabbit. It didn't come with... Like, um, I'm not sure what PR firm this is, but thank you very much anyway. We appreciate it. And um, if you've seen Peter Rabbit, let me know what you thought. I'm looking forward to seeing it too. Come to town with Darcy and Pearl. I've just seen a party shop with this amazing balloon. It's an Airwalkers balloon. Oh, wow. We're going to go in and see how much it is. Don't go in yet, doodles. Look at all of this stuff. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Popped for a salmon appointment, and the lovely Chloe has been cuddling Pearl, and she's actually fallen asleep on her. She never falls asleep on me. Wow. You're like the baby whisperer, Chloe. Thank you. <laughs> gonna make we're home and I'm in my bedroom and I'm gonna show you it so I want you all to be feeling maximum excitement because I think we've got it right after the navy that wasn't right after the juicy ruby that wasn't right we have finally got it right I've forgotten the name of the paint color I'll tell you it later but for now feast your eyes on this and if you look closely, it's infused with silver glitter, just a sprinkle of glitter. <sighs> now, I know a lot of you might be thinking, oh my god, does Liam hate it? Uh, no, he doesn't. Liam is a modern man and he's very... Love he loves it! Yes! Bit of animation, he speaks. Look at it. Oh, it just makes everything, like, the lights go so much better with it, the bed goes so much better with it, the baby goes so much better with it. I love it so much. And we've carried it all the way through into Pearl's room slash the dressing room. Ugh, I love it. Right, I'm going to give you a little haul of what we bought whilst we were in town. Uh, we didn't really vlog whilst I was there. We got, for Darcy's birthday party, some unicorn plates. Woohoo! We got the giant unicorn balloon from the window that you have to blow up. Look at that, babe. It's literally as big as Darcy. Wow. You blow it up with air, not helium. Um, I got another one for something else. I got this for Liam's birthday. We got, in fact, let's just hide that. Lovely. Um, some table confetti for Darcy's birthday party, unicorn themed. Some unicorn napkins. Well, cat's just walked in. A sparkly unicorn candle. Um, some long candles. A baby. No, I already had her. Ha ha ha. And then from our church shop, we got Noah's Ark. Um, ah! Noah's Ark um, domino pieces. We're going to play dominoes. And we bought this book. Um, God's very good idea. So we're going to read that tonight. And this we had in the car, but it's ended up in a bag. Great women who changed the world. I love but I've talked about this before. Yeah. Great. Are you happy with that haul? Are you happy? With oh God. <laughs> so, so much energy. <laughs> so much energy. Righty Roo, I'm about to do the nighttime routine with Darcy. Do our little like watch some Disney vlogs. Then I'm going to do some editing. This is. This is not the editing, but this is where all my footage is, I hope. I think I've lost a load of footage. It's not on my memory card, it's not on my laptop, so I'm really hoping that I've put it on my, one of these, my backup thing. If not, I'm gonna be pretty upset about that. Right, um, I wanted to come on and tell you that I looked at the paint part and it's called Pink Petticoat. So if this color is the color of your dreams, it's called Pink Petticoat from Vespa. Good morning. You know how I was absolutely gaga for the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm? Well, that all ran out and I have been using an oldie but goldie. This is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser uh, and it comes with a little cloth. This is dirty because I've just used it because guess who went to loop with their makeup? I'll just, I'll just level with you most of the time I do do that. Don't do it though, it's really bad for your skin. Um, and I wanted to give you in the beauty segment of this week's vlog um, top tip, this is amazing. Still, it's one of those products that has stood the test of time. I've been using it now since at least 2011. So at least seven years. I don't know how old the product is. Probably older than that, but it's just really not that specific one, obviously. Um, but it's brilliant. Giving Pearl a proper education on the original, the OG kids stuff. 
just beginning. Pat thinks he's a really lucky man. Pat had job satisfaction, didn't he? Pat was happy. I did it. I did my little voiceover. I'm going to put it on now. Um, I'm feeling really nervous about this video. Um, it's like a speed clean and tour video of my kitchen area. I would really like it if you would go over and show it a bit of love. I know I always say in these videos, oh, go here and do this, but specifically for that video, if you could go and like leave a supportive comment if you like it, like, I really like this video, I'd like to see more, or just something. If you don't like it, just don't leave any comments, just don't say anything. It's better to live in ignorant bliss. Um, yeah, I, I think I'd like to do more of those sorts, but I think I'm worried that other people will find them boring and the reason I did it is because I love those kinds of videos but I was like oh I don't know I don't know <laughs> my crisis of confidence um I'm going to input this footage and then in a few minutes Chloe will be here for my 11am nail appointment and Pearl will wake up for her 11am bottle I'm gonna have to do both at once multitasking story of my life my nails are all fresh and new and I've had just the same colour done again and I've changed Pearl and put her in her little leggings. You've seen them on her before, but I'll show you in a second. She just looks so cute. Because I just basically have her live in sleep suits, don't I? All the time. But today we've really pushed the boat out and gone for a pair of leggings and a wrap top. Here she is. She's got a little wrap top on. These are really great because if they do a little poo explosion, which you do sometimes, they're easier to get off because you just unwrap them rather than pull the poo over the head or down their body. And these little leggies, they're from Next, I think. And then these little socks from, oh, I don't know where they're from, baby socks. Um, and this is from H&M if you're looking for the wrap tops yourself. And you're so smiley, aren't you? Are you being so smiley? So smiley. Oh. Oh. You're really giving it some, aren't you? Hmm? Oh. A little bit of pearl time. Oh, pearl. <laughs> that was nice. Yes. You are so cute. Yes. Are you so cute? Yes. Yeah. Tell me. Oh, that's a cat telling you something. <laughs> Is that funny? These are big smiles. These are big smiles. Yes. Oh, I love spending time with you. I love spending time with you. I love it. Dish, 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 dish. Is that a laugh? Are you going to do your first laugh right now? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Are you? Are you? We just tried a bit of tummy time. But you weren't having any of it, were you? No. Should we try again? Gotta have a little bit every you just follow this camera around, don't you? Oh, you're looking at mummy now. Yes. Should we try again? A little bit of tummy time. There you go. Don't lick it. <laughs> there you go. What's that like? Bit of tummy time. Bit of sofa licking time. Doing really well. Yeah, lifting that head up. Yes. Yeah, you're doing so well. Yeah. It's half past nine. Oh God, put the lights on, the baby's asleep. Um, yeah, it's half nine, I'm just really tired. I'm still dressed and in a bra at half nine. That is saying something because, let's face it, by about 6 p.m. bra is off. Um, I've been downstairs working. I've edited my video, that's gone up. I've done some book work. Some general admin, I've spoken to Liam. Um, I'm really tired. I'm going to have a bath, I'm going to bed. Um, Katie and Emily Norris. Katie Ellison from Mummy Daddy Me and Emily Norris from Emily Norris are coming up tomorrow. She's not been settling very well, so normally I like crash about, she doesn't wake, but I'm just being extra careful. Um, and I'm looking forward to them coming and filming some videos and hanging out to have a good time. <laughs> I don't know where I went. <laughs> oh. As I mentioned last night, I have got um, Katie from Mummy Daddy Me and Emily from Emily Norris coming over today. And I'm filming that curl up with Emily where we did the clothes. So I've got a bag of boys clothes here. And I want to wrap them. And I was like, oh, I've got loads of tissue paper. It'd be absolutely fine. Can wrap them all. And then I realized I only have like Easter tissue paper. 
Um, so I'm going to have to reassess my packaging situation. And that's where I'm at this morning. Good morning. Right, I found brown paper and sellotape and I might use this like twiny stuff. Just hoping to make it a bit more jazzy. Maybe I'll stick some, <laughs> maybe I'll stick some little stickers on it or something. Oh, I thought I had more, lots and lots of like super jazzy stuff. Oh, actually, I've got some neon washi tape, maybe. Yes, one down, two to go. You'll have to watch the video to see what's in them. Look who's here, look who's here. <laughs> Jizzy's here. Hi. Yes, she is. That's funny. <laughs> Emily, oh. Emily, we need a good nickname for you because I just call you sometimes like the clean queen or I just call it yeah, doing a Norris. <laughs> in our little group, I'm like, I have to do a Norris, which means yeah, like, I know, it's so clean my whole well, that's house. That's quite a trademark, isn't it? It is. Oh, yeah, so if you can think of any good. nicknames for Emily, do. <laughs> this is Jizzy. It's, it's oh, not as bad as you think yeah, it is. Yeah, there is a reason, it's but it's not as bad as you think it is. <laughs> Look at this. Um, she only wears it for like a couple of minutes. Oh, really? Sweet. And then she takes it's so it off. Trendy. No, I know you think so. Emily's like womb is almost exploding. Love, honestly. She's <laughs> so I'm gonna take it with me. Da, 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 da. Pizza Hut is yeah. here. Very healthy. Very healthy. Yeah. Um, I love pizza. Pizza. I haven't had pizza yeah. for ages. <laughs> I do. I used to love going. It was such a treat. Yes, it? it was. Um, Ice cream. Why oh, I have ice cream factory! Ice cream factory! <laughs> Look, I've got oh nachos. Nachos. Do we not think that's a little bit excessive what? jalapeno, though? No, no. Oh, no. Right. What's that joke about nacho cheese? <gasps> oh, um, what did the. Uh, what do you call cheese that's not yours? Nacho, nacho cheese! cheese. Nacho and then also, cheese. my favourite ever. Oh, okay, wedges. not that. So, wedges, because everyone oh, loves wedges. Yeah, Whose yeah. handbag is this? That's mine. Is this your real leather one? <laughs> yeah, I've taken the label off now, though. And macaroni cheese! Oh wow, that is my favourite. I'd be happy if you sang me a little song every time I woke up. <laughs> She's so smiling. She's so smiling. A little sleep is wonders, doesn't it? Right, so Emily has gone home now because she had to get back early for her boy's dentist appointment and I have got pearly girl in her little doona car seat and we're actually going to head out to home sense which is all a bit last minute um can't find my car key though I haven't told I haven't actually told Katie yet that I can't find my car key um we're going to head out to home sense and I'm going to look specifically for really pretty easter baskets uh because I've got some really little ones mm -hmm. But I, I might want to get a big one for Darcy, actually. Um, let's wait till she twigs. Oh. <laughs> Here we are. Jeezy just said I'm very on board with that plan. <laughs> very on board with it all. Here it is. Oh, look. I really want a nice bunch of flowers for my office. So I keep buying fresh flowers and get a bit, you know, a lot of upkeep. So I'm gonna buy this bloom, this bunch of blooms. What do you think, Jizzy? I love them, very pretty. Oh, so I asked on Instagram this morning for you to give your questions for Katie and Emma, Emily. Come on in, come on in. Oh, no. um, and I forgot to ask them, sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> since this video is featuring on less, this what, so less as in, less scrolling unnecessarily. So not like, not like, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna allow myself to go on my phone, but you know when you're supposed to be doing something yes. else? Yeah. Like you're supposed to be editing a video, but yeah. then you think, I'll just have a quick scroll through yeah. Facebook, yeah. quick scroll on Twitter. And then you're doing it like an hour later. Yeah, I'm trying to do that and I'm so much more productive. Now mm. when I go on my laptop, I'm setting myself rules, like not going on Facebook for at least 15 minutes. That's really good. Do you yeah. know, I'm just finding myself scrolling and scrolling. Like sometimes I'll just sit on Instagram and I'll go up to bed, I'll be like, right, I'm gonna have an early night. I'll go up to bed at like half nine and then end up being like half 11. I'm still there scrolling. Just through. scrolling, just watching everything. Oh. Go, and it's like, still refreshing. I know people refreshing. that delete their apps like when they're about to work for the day. So they delete them all off their phone. No, I wouldn't could want to delete, delete it. Your apps? No, I couldn't, but if they delete it and then that's it, it's gone for the day and then they put it back on again. So it just literally doesn't give them any temptation. No, I couldn't. Crazy. Well, maybe we could get to that. Maybe we could work up to it, train up to it, live a life of less scrolling. I don't know. Anyway, do you like my blooms? Guys, I don't want anyone to like panic, panic. or drop their cup of tea, but this is a, a pom-pom garland, right? Just a regular pom-pom garland. Let me draw your attention to this. The six feet of pom-pom garland. Katie, please, be a six. part of this moment. 
think six feet of, of pom pom garlic. Which colour are they? This, this that could one. carry you through to the summer a bit more. Agreed. As far as pom pom this garlands. Is more, yeah. Are there mm. more pom pom garlands? No. Can I say pom pom garland again? Pom pom garland. Pom pom garland. Six feet. Oh, that's the only pom pom garland. Should I get both? Because I might regret it. How much are the pom pom? Six pounds. Down from six 12. pounds for six feet. That's a pound a foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are your thoughts on six foot of pom pom garland? What do you think? So what do you think? Cool. Stop that. Look at it all. Yes. Pearl, you've got to be excited by this, are you? Are you? No. Good morning. Today I am having a no muss, no fuss day. I've just cleansed my face, which is why it looks very red. I've cleansed and exfoliated and moisturised it. Um, my goals for today are these. Edit and upload a video with Emma, which you can go watch. It was... It was a home bargain haul, but it just turned into absolute madness. Um, finish off some line edits I'm doing for um, the book. Be a mum to Pearl and do some clean cleaning and organising in my house. I'm not going out. Um, I think Esther might pop round because she wants to borrow a jacket. But aside from that, I'm not doing anything of much excitement. I might start editing this vlog as well. Um, I'm just having like a um, like stay in the house and just plough through my to-do list day to day. Um, and obviously I will take you along with me. I've just said this whole thing to camera, then realised my camera was not on. Um, every time I turn my camera on, I feel a little bit vulnerable today because I've like got completely bare face, but also my hair is really flat. <laughs> like I've scraped it all back because I just wanted it off my face because I'm just having a mooch around the house, get stuff done day. Um, and I don't know, there's something about having non-voluminous hair that makes me feel a bit vulnerable. Everyone's got their thing, haven't they? What is your thing? That you have to do to make yourself feel done if you know what I mean and mine is having a little bit of volume to my hair um I was watching I'm watching some speed cleaning videos of this very lovely American lady who does a lot of speed cleaning because I love the speed cleaning can I say speed cleaning again fifth time speed cleaning um I put my own video up of it on Wednesday but she's cleaning everywhere and unless I'm mistaken everywhere looks clean and tidy already I was like, wow, if that's your idea of dirty, that you're having, she was like, oh, my house is really filthy, I want to do like a whole clean of it. I was like, wow, that would be my idea of clean. And now I'm looking around thinking, God, my house is really gross. And I don't know. Like, isn't the point of speaking in a video, you start off a bit dirty, although obviously you hide a few things. Like when I did mine, I, like, if I was doing a laundry video, I wouldn't show underwear or I move things, you know, certain things. But I was like, it just looks so clean already. I'm a disgusting individual. I'm looking at the, my like floor now and thinking, oh dear. What do you think? Speed cleaning, number one. What do you think? Speed cleaning when the house has already looked clean. What do you think? I'm gonna have some soup and see to the baby. Me again, obviously, it's my vlog. <laughs> what a great start that was. Um, I'm still cleaning and tidying. <coughs> and I just got to my sink bit where I'm just like, sorting through all like the bits and bobs and making it all nice and tidy and something that I featured in my um, clean and tour video on Wednesday which is linked below for you was these little scrubbies I freaking love them because I don't like sponge sponges you know like the well you know what a sponge is um, because the the wet stays in them and then it congeals and goes all manky and horrible I just wah. I know Ugh, just ugh, just makes me feel well <laughs> that's the only word i can use to describe it so i bought these which are like little glovies um made of silicone and then you can just wash your stuff with them there's a bit of a demo in that video if you want to see but like the dish soap lathers up fine and like gets everything off really well um and i bought mine in a pack of three and then i went online to link them in that video and the pack of threes like just are currently unavailable so I linked a pack of seven and I think people like a few people bought them and now they're completely sold out. So I'm going to link them again. I'm going to find some more. I found a lot of scrubbies that you can't put your hand in. So if you don't want to like put your fingers in something, <laughs> anyway, um, then there's tons and tons. So I'll link that type as well because those are super cheap and you get them on all different shapes and colours. Um, but I was specifically looking for the glove ones. So I'll look for the glove ones. I'll also link the ones that are like the super, super cheap ones that aren't glove ones that you would just hold and wash like you would an actual sponge. But also, this has arrived. I've been trying this out. 
what an exciting life I lead. I've been trying out the silicon sponge. Am I even gonna leave this in? Yes, I am, because this, 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 this is authentic. This is a woman who got excited when this arrived. It's basically this on handle form. So if you're like me and don't like to touch the water at all, uh, this is for you. I know I could get rubber gloves. As soon as I said that, I thought people are gonna say just get rubber gloves, but the spongy sponge bothers me and dirty dishwasher dishwater bothers me but I got this as well um, so I will link this and I like this much more because because I do okay I'm gonna stop talking about silicon sponges now um, yeah Ooh la la it is empty but oh my god who needs this much plastic Tupperware I don't need this why have I got spider-man ice cube molds they're going in the recycling don't need those do not need this many every morning when i have to get darcy ready for school i panic because i feel like i don't have a snack box to hand um but i think i'm wrong this was literally the most satisfying moment of my day which says a lot about my life um yeah that's all organized da -da -da. it took like five minutes once i bought these little tubby things i'll um, I was going to say I'll link them below, but they were from Poundland. I'll try and link something similar below. Um, yes, we have got over right in the back corner there, we've got our summer bits and how to make, you know, ice lollies and stuff. Then we've got some snack boxes. We've got some high-end snack boxes. We've got some more snack boxes and, you know, those things that keep flies off your food in the summer. We've got our best snack boxes, our easy-to-reach snack boxes. We've got our popcorn tubs. I'll link these below if I can find some for you because I know they'll be asked about. And then we've got all the, oh, we've got a lovely little Jules lunchbox. Uh, we've got all the stuff that used to just get cluttered up there and drive me mad is now here. And I feel smug. Da, 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 da. Why aren't you shutting properly? There we go. Da, 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 da. Now I just have to find homes for the stuff up here and the world will be right again. If there were a talent show or a competition for vloggers that can find different tripod things and by tripod I mean things to put the camera on I would win because currently I have a balance on a Calpol box to get the right height still not quite the right height and you're a bit wonky but it will do the job Pearl has gone down for a little sleep I am going to do some internet banking because I live on the edge I'm exciting on a Friday afternoon afternoon as we discovered from previous clip of Tupperware thingamabobbying. Um, this, by the way, came on my bag. I'm just gonna ask your advice now. This came on my bag that I bought and I took it off because I thought, is that meant to be part of the bag? It's just really annoying. I've taken it off, but should I put it back on? Is it the cool thing to do to have these little, little bits of bit just hanging on the bag? I don't know. Right, this week I really wanted to focus on what it was like to be scrolling less and to be more productive. But I feel like I haven't really like delved into it, ironically, because I've been too busy. But I have been going, when I'm on my laptop working from my soft office, my bed, or my office office downstairs, I am being strict with myself and I do feel like I've got more done. But I don't think that's rocket science, is it? Like, if you scroll through pointless things less, you'll get more done. Um, but it's something we can come back to later in the year and maybe I'll like be one of those people, like Katie said, who delete apps on their phone. <laughs> Currently that gives me heart palpitations just thinking about deleting Instagram um, or or any of my apps <laughs> uh, Right, so there's loads of links to things below that I would love for you to check out and um, please do follow me on my social media and if you aren't already, do subscribe. I'm going to start being a bit more proactive about asking you to subscribe. Um, and if you hit the little bell icon, it just means you get a notification when one of my videos has gone live. I don't post videos every day, so you won't be getting notifications all the time, which is good, unless you like notifications. Um, don't know what else to say. Uh, I think I forgot to do an office tour, like I was going to show you my photos, but I'll just do a proper, proper office tour video. Feeling a little bit... Um, brain neutral like my brain's gone into neutral and I can't quite think so I will leave it here thank you so much for watching this week I think it's been a good one I felt very positive the whole time no I haven't had an emotional day in ages with due one maybe next week tune in next week to find out if Louise will cry on camera thanks for watching bye